اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم If I could have student A7412, could they raise their hand? A7412. A7412, are you in class? Okay. Um, A7388. Okay. Um, A7404. Assalamu alaikum. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Alhamdulillah. I am very well. Jazakumullah for asking. Okay, sweetheart. So, um... Uh, I shall call you for recitation as well. But for now, um, this is the dua for the day. Are you able to read it by yourself? Yes. Okay then. So if you could start with the Tawud and the Tasmiya and then read the actual dua. A'udhu billahi minash rajim rahim Rabbish Rahli Sadri Wayasirli Amri. And the English translation, please, darling. Lord, expand my mind and make my tasks easy for me and remove every Im- impediment from my speech that people may understand easily what I say and grant me a, a helper from my family. And the reference? Um, surah 26. Okay. The surah's name is Taha. Surah Taha, verse 26, chapter 27. Okay. These are just the verses. Um, off the top of my head, I can't remember the chapter number of Taha. Sorry. Okay, that's fine. That's the chapter name. And these are the verse numbers. And if you go to that surah, you will find this dua. Okay, Jazakumullah Sriha, I'll call you back uh, for recitation as well. Okay, Allah Hafiz for now. Okay, so um, let's now move on straight to, um, let's choose this one. Okay then, so let me bring um, student A7404 back to the mic in a moment, Um, but we'll follow the same format as before. we start with the Dawood and the Tasmiya and all of the rules that you can remember. Please apply them as they come along. And um, after listening to yourselves, I'll give you some feedback specifically to that student. And all students, please listen because if one student is making um, an error, chances are most other people will be making the same error. Okay, so I'm just going to call A7404. Back to the, let me just get rid of this mic. Assalamu alaikum, darling. Assalamu alaikum. Okay, sweetheart. So from Dawood, then Tasmiya, okay. And then if you could read, um, to start off with, uh, let's just read to here, okay? Okay. A'udhu billahi minash rajim. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim La uqsimu bihadhal balad Wa anta hillun bihadhal balad Wa walidin وَوَالِدٍ وَمَا وَلَدٍ لَكَدْ خَلَقْنَا الْإِنسَانَ فِي قَبَدٍ أَيَحْسَبُ أَنْ سَبُ أَنْ Sorry. That's okay, no worries. Ayahsabu alan len yaks yak dira alayhi ahadu ahad Yakulu ahlak tu malalu bada Mashallah, very, very, very nice. Um, very, very nice. The nice pace. 
um, and you took your time and you looked at what you were reading. Very, very nice recitation. Okay, so the main thing that I picked up on is um, thick letters and thin letters. Your pronunciation is the one thing that's um, coming through. See what I've highlighted here? This is a off. Okay, so thick and heavy letter comes from the back of your uh, mouth, right at the back, at the top of your throat. And you've got to try and get your tongue to touch, you know, that little dangly bit that's at the back of your throat. You've got to try and get the back of your tongue to almost touch that, to get that sound, yeah? la uq la uq Well done. And again, Kalkala as well, which is something that you weren't doing as we were going along. But that um, is a thick and heavy letter. This here is a thin letter. So, ha, ha, well done, okay? And it comes from the um, bottom of your um, throat, okay? So, ha, ha, well done, okay? Um, Okay, so let me see again here. Okay, this was a off. Okay, la cord, la cord. Well done. And here off again and kalkal. Okay, halak, halak. Well done. Well done. Okay, so here this is a gaff. It's a thin letter, and to make this sound, you take the middle of your tongue, and you lift it up and you basically touch almost opposite on the bridge of your mouth, okay? Gaff. Gaff. Well done, exactly like that. So this would be fi kabad. Fi kabad. Well done, ka, kabad. Kabad. Well done. Okay, so let me see, okay, again here. Off, okay. Okay, so there was, the gram to start off with, so it's alayyak. Well done, well done. Okay. Again here, this is a ha comes from the bottom of your throat. Ah. Ah. Well done. Okay. All right. Okay then. So thick and thin letters. That was the main, main thing that was coming across, okay? Um a couple of minor things. Um, minor because I think that they were just in your recitation today, but I'll point them out to you. Um, here, this bit here, okay, this is a, an alif with the fatha a, uh. then the ya and the ha join, so it's a uh, ya. A uh, ya. Well done, okay. When you read it, you read it as if this was a tashtid, you read it as if it was a ya, okay, so just be careful, um, and I think that that was just a one-off um, as you were reading, so you just have to be careful that when you're reading, you are actually reading what's in front of you. Um, and one other thing that, um, okay, so here, so pronunciation is something that I'm very, very keen on. Um, I like to um, really get people's pronunciation right um, and make sure that they understand how to make the sounds, okay? Quite rightly, when you came here, you realized that there was this, people might miss it because there's so many things going on, this meme up here, miniature meme, meme makluba, as it's known. Okay, whenever you see a tanveen or a noon sakin, you may sometimes then see a meme um, next to it. And that means that instead of making the un sound, you make a ma sound. Okay, it's a meme that takes over. But when you make the sound, okay, the meme has to flow into the next letter, which is always going to be a bar. That's actually why that meme is there. And to make that sound, you need to understand that the meme comes from joining the dry parts of your lips together. So say with me, meme, meme, well done, okay? The bar comes from making the wet parts of your lips join together, bar, bar, well done, okay? So when you do the meme into the bar, it's a very natural movement. If you make the um, sounds properly, the meme just flows into the bar because the lips just open up. So repeat after me, darling. Hilumbi. Hilumbi. Well done. Well done. Very, very nice. Okay. So practice on that. Okay. Um, okay. Otherwise, your rec recitation was very nice. You took your time. Very, very nice. Um, one other thing I'd like to ask you. Can you tell me something about 
what I've just highlighted here. Um, the teacher would have gone over this on Friday. Were you, in, um, were you in Friday's class? No. Okay. No, no worries. Okay, so we were on half term last week. Um, and I know that many students were. Um, and so you may have missed. So let me just point out that when you read um, in the Quran, you will come across verse ends. And in this Quran, written in simple Arabic, they have to be marked with a square box. There's a number inside. And then often there's a mark on top. Okay, now it's sunnah, as we've been saying, uh, to always pause at the end of a verse. And so that's what we do. But you'll notice as you go along, I'm just trying to find an example that sometimes within a verse. Okay, so in this particular surah, I can't see, but sometimes you'll see this sort of pause mark and it'd be in the middle of a verse. Okay. Um, and those pause marks do have meanings and they give you an understanding of what you can and can't do there. Um, and the vast majority, you'll find that you can either choose to stop or you could choose to carry on. The vast majority work both ways. But there's one and there's this meme here. OK, this one here. Whenever you see this meme as a pause mark, it's absolutely vital that you pause and you stop. Um, you must not carry on reading. This happens to be on a verse end, but sometimes you'll find this in the middle of a verse. If you see this meme as a pause mark, absolutely you must stop and then start from the next letter. Okay? And this here reads Wakf Lazim. It's an essential, compulsory, there's no two ways about it, you must stop. Okay? Yes. Okay. All right. Fantastic. So um, now you know what this meme is all about. Okay. Jazakumullah for your time, darling. Very nice recitation. Keep Allah. practicing. Allah Hafiz. Yeah. Okay. So let me just um, bring up uh, another student. Um, okay. So if A7361 is in the class, could they raise their hand? A7. Oh, there we are. Assalamu alaikum, A7361. A7361. Okay, we will come back to you possibly if we can get hold of um. Okay, so let me just now bring another student up. A7362. Is A7362 in class? Okay. A7363. Okay, let me try again. A7361. Assalamu alaikum. A7361. Okay, sweetheart, I cannot hear you. Um, there's something wrong with your mic, okay? And that's probably why you're uh, priority on our list because you can't seem to unmute you. So have a look at your um, computer and see if you can um, sort out your mic. Okay, so let me now, A7, so let me. Hello. Assalamu alaikum. A7361. Hello. Can you hear me? Hello? Assalamu alaikum. A7361. A7361. Hello? Can you hear me, darling? Okay. Okay, not to worry. Um, let me see. A7388. Are you in class? No. Okay, so let me just see if I can get hold of some Nasra. N eight three nine zero. N eight three nine zero. If you're in class, could you raise your hand? Okay. 
everybody else, if you can lower your hands, please. Here we are. Assalamu alaikum. N eight three nine zero. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam, darling. How are you? Good. How are you? Alhamdulillah, I am very well. Jazakumullah for asking. Okay, sweetheart. So let me just get rid of um, some of these marks here, and I would like you to do exactly what the other difu did, and do some recitation for me. Okay, and start with the Dawood and read from here to here, please. Okay. Um, should I start? Yes, please, darling. From Dawood. A'uzu billahi minash shaitanir rajeem Bismillahir rahmanir rahim Ayahitu alam yarahu hu ahad Alamna taj Allahu ayyai nain Walisa nawa shafatain Tain Wahadaina nunajadain Falak Okay, very, very nice. Okay, so a uh, very nice reading. Okay, um, there's some sound distortion on your mic, so it wasn't completely clear, but um, very, very nice reading. What I could say is see here at the end of here, okay. This is a Yasaki. Toilet middle is. Okay, so. Bear with me for a second. Okay. So, see here, okay, there's a Yasaki in here. Before it is a Fatha. This Ya is a Yalin. Okay? A Yalin. So, when we. Read this. This is nay, nay. But because we're going to pause on the noon straight afterwards, okay, we make the sound nain. And that's the sound that we make. But because we're going to pause, and this happens to be a, a mother letter, we're going to pause here, we can stretch the sound out for, do you know how long? Um, two seconds. Okay, so somewhere between two seconds up to how long? Six, six seconds. Yeah, uh, four, four to five seconds would be sufficient, okay? So you could stretch this sound out. And I did notice that as you were reading, you didn't um, take advantage of that, okay? So again, here as well, you could have done the same thing. They... And here, you could have said... Dain. So you can choose to stretch the sound out. Now bear with me. Student A7403, I don't need to see that you're eating some sweets. If you could take your video off, please. Okay, right. So your reading is very nice. Um, I would just say to you, pay attention to um, how you pause and maybe try and build up on your breath control and stretch out the sound. And... This here, what I've highlighted, what is this sound letter? Um, it's a who. Okay, yes, the letter is a ha with a dhamma on top, so it would normally make a who. When you read it, you read this as nun. Okay, you read that as if that was a noon. Okay, so have a read from here to the end of the verse for me. Wahadaina <laughs> hud. Okay, so tell me, what is this letter here? Um, it's a uh, da. How many dots does it have on the top? One. One, okay. So let me, tell me, what is this letter here? This one here. 
Uh, it's a noon. It is indeed, yeah. What is this letter here? It's also a noon. Okay. What is this letter here? Um, it's a na. Or okay. a noon. It's a noon, yeah. The sound that it will make is obviously a na if you just take the fatha. So tell me, okay, this letter here. What is this letter? Um, it's a uh, noon. Yes, yes. Okay. So have one more go at this verse. Read it one more time. Mashallah. Very, very nice. Um, okay, sweetheart. So all I can say is that it's very nice reading. Um, very nice recitation. Um, just pay attention. Yeah to your letter recognition and you're at that stage where you could actually stretch out your your sounds a little bit longer okay yes okay then jazakumullah and allah hafiz for now darling allah hafiz okay so let me now see if i can get hold of n8394 n8394 are you in the class Okay, so let me see, is N8403 on my list? No, okay. Uh, N8387, are you in class? N8387. If you are, please put your hand up, darling. No, okay, so let me go back to the default. The other file. Okay, so A seven four zero three. A seven four zero three. Are you in class? No. Okay. A seven four zero. Okay, so this is where having a support teacher does help. Um, okay, so let me just go through. Um, A7395, are you in class? A7395, if you are, please raise your hand. Nope. Okay, so this is going to take a lot of time. So today I'm just going to randomly choose people, okay? So it may be that some of you were chosen yesterday um, or on Friday, and apologies, but otherwise it will take far too long, okay? So I'm just going to randomly choose um, A7388. Assalamu alaikum. Okay. Okay, so if everybody could stop raising their hands for a moment, okay? So then it makes it easier. A7383, you should have the mic. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. How are you, darling? Uh, alhamdulillah, I am fine. How are you? Alhamdulillah, I am well. It's well. Jazakumullah for asking. Okay, sweetheart. So if you could read from here to here, please. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وما أدراك ما الأكبى فكرك
Well done. Okay, one moment, sweetheart, okay? All right. Just bear with me, okay. A7403, I'm going to place you in the waiting room, okay? I don't need to see your um, antics on the video at all. Okay, so, right then. Okay, so, sweetheart, um, let's just um, repeat after me, okay? So, we'll do it that way, okay? A'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajeem. A'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajeem. Bismillahir rahmanir rahim. Bismillahir rahmanir rahim. Okay, so I'm going to read from here, okay? So, start with the eyes and then repeat after me, okay? Wama adraka. Wama adraka. Okay, this is an alif, okay? Adraka. Adraka. Mal aqaba. Mal aqaba. Well done, okay? Because these are individual letters, they're not joined at all in their sound, okay? So again. وَمَا أَدْرَاكَ مَا الْأَقَبَةِ وَمَا أَدْرَاكَ مَا مَا الْأَقَبَةِ Okay, well done, okay? This is an alif. Just let some air come out from your lungs, okay? Don't make any sort of blockage with your tongue or your throat. Ah. Ah. Okay, and that's the sound that an alif should make, okay? Absolutely, just a clear sound, okay? Adraka. Adraka. Well done, okay. Let's move on here. Fakku. Fakku. Well done, because the two letters are joined because of this tashti, darling, okay? Fakku raqaba. Fakku raqaba. Bah. Bah. Well done, okay? When we pause at this verse and this bar joins with this letter. But when you pause on this letter, that becomes a ha sakim. And we have to make that sound, okay? Rakaba. Rakaba. Well done. Oh it amu fi. Oh it amu fi. Okay, so here we have a tanveen. After that is a fa. So that's why we're going to do mu. No, no. Well done. Try and make a slight noon sound as well, okay? Oh, it the armo fi. Oh, it the armo fi. Yo, me. Yo, me. The mas roba. The. The mas roba. Okay, so this letter here is a rain, okay, because it has the dot on the top. It's not an ayn, a rain, okay? Raba. Mas raba, well done. So again, O it the amu fi yomi the mas raba. O it amu fi yomi the Okay, ma, mas. Mas, well, well done, okay. Yatimo. Yatimo. The mokoraba. The mokoraba. Well done, okay. Make sure you make the ha sound at the, at the end. Well done. Mokoraba. Mokoraba. Oh, miskino, the mat rubber. Oh, miskino, the mat rubber. Well done, okay? I read this the with this alif mat, okay? That's why I did it the, okay? The mat rubber. The mat rubber. Okay, well done. So see how what you need to do is you need to practice um, and take it slowly, bit by bit, okay? You may not be able to read um, whole pages. You may not be able to read whole chapters, 
okay? So just practice on three or four lines and make sure that you can get them as fluid as possible, okay? Um, your letter recognition is basically there uh, and you just need to practice, okay? Right. Okay then, darling. Jazakumullah. Right, okay. So let me now choose, uh, okay. Right, let me choose now A7409. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam, darling. How are you? I'm good, alhamdulillah. How are you? I'm also well. Jazakumullah for asking. Okay, sweetheart. So we are going to move on to the next few verses. So if you could read for me from here to, uh, let's do it to here because that's a fairly long verse there, okay? So Dawood first and then read that, please. A'udhu billahi minash shaytanir rajeem Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Thumma kana minal ladhina amanu wa tawan Sawbis sobri wa tawas Sawbil marhamah Ulaika ashabul maymanah Mashallah, very, very nice. Um, okay, so sweetheart, um, I couldn't fault that at all. It was very, very nice reading. The pronunciation was very nice. This is a very long verse, okay? From this thum to this hama is a very long verse for a young child to maybe keep their breath, okay? An adult like myself who's maybe been reading a long time, yes, we can um, go all the way through. So um, what I would suggest is that you look for a place to pause. And I know that um, right now, what you're looking at, um, it, it doesn't mean anything because you don't know what you're reading, okay? So you can't work out where to pause. But a general rule of thumb is if you look for something like this, okay? This means and, okay? So that's a natural place where you would maybe take a pause and then say, and then, okay? So you could always pause just before a wow, okay? And then you can start again from the wow. So read for me for thum and make a pause here and then carry on one more time. Well done. Okay, so that was very, very nice, okay? Um, I don't know whether this was a one-off here. Um, just read that bit for me, please. Well done. Okay, then. Because when you read it that last time, you joined those two. Okay, sweetheart. So now, if you can read to the end of the surah. Well done, well done. Very, very nice. Um, uh, very, very nice. So I'm going to pick on something really, really small um, uh, from your point of view, maybe. But this is a gaff, okay? It's a thin letter. So make sure when you read that you do make it as a gaff, okay? Walladhina kafaru. Walladhina kafaru. Mashallah. Very nice reading, darling. Very, very nice reading. Just carry on with what you're doing. Very, very nice. Okay. Jazakumullah for your time. Allah Hafiz for now. Allah Hafiz. Allah Hafiz. Okay. So uh, let's now move on to another surah that was covered last week. And if I can now choose a 
okay, so I've had, um, let me choose a Nasra. N8363. N8363, Assalamu Alaikum. Assalamu Alaikum. Wa Alaikum Assalam, darling. This, this is N8363? Yes. Okay, well done. Um, <coughs> let me just write that out. N8363. Okay, sweetheart. So from uh, Dawood and Tasmiya, and if you could read to here for me, darling. A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitanir Rajeem Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim Walayli Iza Yakshi Shah Wannahari Iza Tajjalla Vama Halaka the Karaval Unsa Inna Sayakum Lashetta Vama Muatta Vataka. Okay, very, very nice. Okay, so let's just go through this, okay. Um, here, on this noon, it's a noon mushadad. You did do a hudna sound, but how long should you really do a hudna sound for? Two seconds. Two seconds, okay. So when you read, make sure you do do it for two seconds, okay. One ha One Well done. This da here and this jim are they joined by any sukoon or any tashdeed no no okay so when we read we have to read them as separate letters okay so iza tajalla iza tajalla well done okay now here okay there's a qaf okay it has a fatha and afterwards is an alif so you might think that you've got to read this as a, an alif madda, a qa, for two seconds. But if you look, there's a lam that comes, and then afterwards there's this dal, it has a tashdeed on the top. This dal can't sit by itself. It has to join with something that comes before it, and something that comes before it that carries a stroke. So if we work backwards, a lam, no stroke. An alif, no stroke. A qaf with a stroke. This dal and this qaf join. Okay? So that's why this is not an alif madda and you don't treat it as an alif madda. Okay? You join this qaf with this dal. Well done. Okay? The alif and the lam, you have to treat them as blank letters in this case. Okay? The qaf and the dal have to join. Okay? Okay, here, um, read for me this verse, okay, from here to here. Inna sa'yakum lashatta. Okay, well done, okay. Let me just take that off. What is this stroke here? A fata. It is. How many seconds do we read that for? One. Well done, okay. So, inna. Inna. Well done. Okay. Let's move to this meme. This meme, what is the letter that comes after it? Lam. Well done. So when a meme, if the next letter is not another meme and it's not a bar, how do we read this meme then? Um, kum. Okay, so what you do is, as soon as you see a meme sarkin, always look at the next letter. If it's not another meme, if it's not a bar, then you don't stretch the meme sound at all. You just say, kum. Kum. Okay, so don't drag the meme sound out, okay? So that's the rule that you need to focus on, okay? Meme sarkin, look at the next letter. Here, it's not a meme and it's not a bar, so that's why this is a straightforward meme. Let's work on 
this letter here because you made the same um, sound when you came here, okay? This letter is an ein. So say it with me, ein. Ein. Okay. From the middle of your throat, try and make it a little bit heavier. Ein. Ein. Well done. When we join, sa. Sa. Well done, yeah. So, in sa yakum la shatta. In sa yakum la shatta. Okay, so what you did was you made a bit of a jerk sound here, okay? That's not the case. The i is a very smooth sound. Sa yakum. Sa yakum. Well done, okay? So that's something that you will need to practice on. Okay, here, this noon sakin, what is the letter that comes afterwards? Alif. Alif, okay. So how do we read this noon sakin? Nu. Okay, so what you need to do is, let me just find the appropriate um, slide and let me just show you um, where it will be. Okay, so let me just actually just go there and find. Bear with me whilst I find it. Okay, when you see a noon sakin or a tanveen, look at the next letter. If it's one of these letters, an alif, a hamza, ha, ayn, ha, ghayn, kha, then the noon sakin or the tanveen is a clear sound. You make no nasal sound, okay? So as soon as you see noon sakin or tanveen, look at the next letter. If it's one of these, then you don't stretch out the sound at all. So let's go back to where we were, okay? This noon sakin. The next letter is an alif. What do we do with this noon sakin? Um, we hold it for two seconds. Okay, so let me remind you again. Wait. If it's an alif, we don't hold it at all. We make a clear sound, okay? So for example here, yan au na. Man amana, adabun alimun. Okay, we just make that simple sound. So let me go again. There's a nusakin. The next letter is an alif. How are we going to read this? Min a. Okay, so repeat with me, darling. Okay, from here. Fa amma man a da wat for a well done. Okay, so, you have, so what you need to do is make sure that the rules that you do know, like for two seconds, make sure you apply those. Make sure that you use your eyes, okay? And you don't join letters, okay, like you did here. And that you do join letters where you are meant to. Practice on your iron sound and brush up on your neem sakin and your noon sakin rules, okay? Meem sakin, you need to remember, you need to look at the next letter. If it's not a meme or a bar, it's a straightforward, simple m sound. Noon sakin or tanveen, next letter, if it's <coughs> one of those six is ha letters, it's a straightforward noon sakin sound, okay? Okay, all right, jazakumullah for your time, darling. Allah hafiz. Allah hafiz. Allah hafiz. Okay, so let's now choose A7362. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Um, okay, so let me just write your ID down there, A7362. Okay, sweetheart, so if you can read from Dawood and then from here to here, please. Um, could you please mark that? Oh, can you not see? 
Um, yeah, from the wow to the other stop. Yes. A'udhu billahi minash shaytanir rajeem. Bismillahir rahmanir rahim. Wa sadaqa bil husna. Fasanu yassiruhu lil yusra. Wa amma man bajila. Is that the kha? It is indeed, yes. It's a is dot on the top. Yes. That's okay. Bajila was... Tahna Wakazaba Bil Husna Fasanus Yasiruhu Lil Usra. Mashallah, very, very nice. Um, very, very nice. Okay, so, um two things that came across there, okay? One was where there were joins, you weren't joining as um, properly as you could have done. Here we have a tashdeed on top of a dal. It's a mushadad dal. It means that there's two dals there. Only one you can see, but the tashdeed tells you there's actually two. And that means that when you come to this letter, you must press down because it like then... This. Is it like this? Yeah. Well done. Yes. Okay. So if you know, that's how you should read. Okay. So read for me here, this verse from here to there. Fasanu yassiruhu lil yusra. Well done, well done. And that was um, exactly why I picked that up there. Okay, so uh, the other thing would be this raw here. Okay, uh, let me highlight this raw here. And... This ra here, are they thick ra or thin ra? They are thick ra. They are indeed, because they have a stroke that's actually on the top, yeah? Yes. Okay then. Bismillah ar-Rahman rahim over there there's a thick ra too. It is indeed, yes, well done. So if you know that they're thick, make sure that you do always pronounce them as thick, okay? okay. Otherwise, your reading was very, very nice, okay? So if you know the rules, make sure you apply them. Okay. Okay, then Jazakumullah for your time. Allah Hafiz for now. Okay, Khud Hafiz. Allah Hafiz. A7392, could you please switch off your video? Okay, right then. So let me choose um, a Nasra now. Oh, let me see. What is this student saying here? N8. Three nine seven. Assalamualaikum. Waalaikum salam. How are you? I'm good, thank you. How are you? Alhamdulillah, I'm very well. Jazakumullah for asking. Um, okay, so let me ask you to read from. Let me see if I can get um, some of these highlights off to clear the page. So if we carry on from the Dawood and the Tasmiya, and we start from this well. And we read to this verse here. Okay, stop, 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 darling. Yeah, okay, it was only up to here. Okay, very nice. Okay, um, 
two things uh, that's coming across, okay, are timing um, and your pronunciation, okay? So here, when you started from the well, okay, Wama your knee. This knee is just for two seconds, okay? But you do have to reach two seconds on it, okay? So don't rush through it, okay? Wama your knee on who? Okay? Okay. So there's a two second that you need to spend there. Okay. Um, read for me from on who to the end. Okay, so again, it's exactly how you read it the first time, okay? How long do you do a dhamma for? One second. One second, okay? So make sure you do it for one second, darling, okay? Because you read that almost as if it was a, um, a, a mud stroke, okay? You almost did it for two seconds. Wama yurni anhu maluhu iza taradda. So have a go again. Bama Bama yurni anhu Bama yurni anhu malu. Sorry. Yeah. Okay, all right, not to worry, that's fine. Okay, so let me just take you through it so that you can work it out, okay? Wama 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 Yogni Wama Yogni Okay, Anhu Anhu Anhuma an huma an huma lu an huma lu okay so we're going to pause there and we go back wa ma yughni an huma lu wa ma yughni an huma lu okay don't rush through the knee okay wa ma yughni an huma lu Wama yurni anhu malu. Well done. Maluhu. Maluhu. Okay, so now let's see if we can bring that in. Eh? Anhu maluhu. Anhu maluhu. Wama yurni anhu maluhu. Bama yogni anhu maluhu. Well done. Okay. Ida the radda. Ida the radda. Okay. So now have a go and try and do it as slowly as you just did so that your timings are appropriate from the wow to the end of the verse. Vama yogni anhu maluhu ida taradda. Mashallah, mashallah. Very, very nice. Okay. So I know your tongue can get very twisted um, as you go along. And even though you know the timings, the timings when you're reading go all over the place. So you really do have to just break it down. And sometimes you start at the beginning of a verse and you move and you just join things in. Sometimes you can start in the middle, get that bit right, and then you join it in. Everybody works differently, okay? So you must practice, but make sure your timings are appropriate, okay? Okay, you still there? Okay. okay. Yeah. Um, and again, timing here. Noon Mushadad, how many seconds do you do Hudna for? One second. Sorry? One second. Okay, it's two seconds, darling. Okay, so here is yeah. yeah. In in well done. Okay, now just read for me from here to this here. Sorry, where? From this far to the end of the verse. Okay. 
Right, so this time you actually did read this as a two. When I first heard it, I thought you'd um, read that as a fatha. Okay, so um, this is a za, okay? Thick and heavy letter, yeah? Round your mouth as you say, za. Za. Well done. فَأَنذَرْتُكُمْ نَارًا تَلَزَّى فَأَنذَرْتُكُمْ نَارًا تَأَزَّى Hey, how long would you read that for? Two seconds. Two seconds, okay. So, one more time. Have a go, but make sure you put the timing in. فَأَنذَرْتُكُمْ نَارًا what is this letter? Lam. It is. Okay, so I was hearing an alif as you read that, okay? Da Well done. Okay. It's just timing, sweetheart. That's all it is. And I think that for you, um, you actually know uh, most of your timings, but your um needing to practice a bit more so that you can get your tongue around everything that you see. Okay, so just keep practicing because that's the only way that you're going to move forward, okay? Okay. Okay then, very nice reading otherwise, very, very nice reading. Jazakumullah. Jazakumullah. Okay then, darling. So, okay, so now we are coming to the end of our class and let me just find, there we go. Um, okay, so if I can just give you um, your homework, which is essentially the two surah that we um, recapped on today. Um, uh, very nice recitation from what I could hear. Very, very nice recitation. Um, and if you can carry on practicing whatever we've done during the day, try and practice. We're coming into longer and longer chapters now. So uh, we will break it down into small chunks. But do practice um, on, the, on the surah because that's how you're going to get um, more and more fluid. Um, remember that practice is vital for improvement. And the more you practice, the easier it becomes, as you so, saw with that last um, uh, Nasra. A reminder that tomorrow we have our Jalsa, um, your Muslim mode. Um, and uh, if you could um, please ensure that you come in, uh, we do have a program. So um, we will do that for maybe half of the lesson and then we'll do some recitation afterwards. Okay, so there was a young Nasra who has said that she would like to. N8371. Asalaamu Alaikum. Alaikum Asalaam. How are you? I'm good, how are you? Alhamdulillah, I am very well. So see how uh, the end dua, okay? So let me just make that a little bit smaller. Um, can you read it by yourself? Yeah. Okay then. So from the Tawood and the Tasma. A'uzu billahi minash shaitanir rajim. Bismillahir rahmanir rahim. Allahumma arhamni bil Quranil azim. Waj al huli imaman wa nuran wa hudan wa rahmah. And the English translation is what, please? Oh Allah, have mercy on me to the great Quran and make it for me the leader, the light, the guidance, and the mercy. MashaAllah, very, very nice. Jazakumullah for your um, uh, uh, closing dua. Jazakumullah to everybody who attended the class. Uh, Inshallah, we will see you all tomorrow. Um, and, okay. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu.